Thank you for watching, liking, commenting, sharing, and subscribing right now. Hey, 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 stop it. You just posted media that was not social. Uncool, dude. Uncool. Because all media these days needs to be social, even if it isn't. It's cool to say it happens to be social so that you can say it's, you know, a part of social media. Whatever the hell that means. I've tried to define it, and I, I, I've yet to come up with a, a solid definition. However, I'm happy to report that uh, I'm going to be featured in the Seattle social media profiles. And uh, that means... Uh, I don't really know what that means. I didn't get a cookie. Uh, I didn't get to wear a crown for the day. I don't want to who's in charge of this social media thing, but uh, I think they need to step up their game. No matter, uh, it's a series of questions that uh, Kenji wanted me to respond to in uh, a typewritten form, and I was like, whoa, no. <clears throat> the basics. What is your name? Chris Perillo. Your email. Chris at Perillo.com. What is your occupation or company? I don't know what my occupation is, really. I'm a geek, and I work for myself. I'm lucky enough to have made a career out of a personality disorder. My company, uh, Locker Gnome, Gnome Dex, Chris Perillo, Inc. <laughs> I have Chris Perillo, Inc. Uh, I will uh, excrete it when threatened, much like an octopus would do. What is the best part of your job? Uh, the commute time. Honestly, I roll out of bed into uh, this room here. And actually, I sleep on the floor underneath my desk. Got to be close to uh, my computer. Otherwise, you kind of have these separation, anxiety, hunger, pangs in the middle of the night. It's not pretty. There's also some, you know, ink uh, that usually is expelled uh, at some point. I squirt it from my eyes. <clears throat> Originally from, that was a question, when and how did you end up in the greater Seattle area, if applicable? Uh, well, I was originally from Iowa. And, um, well, originally from my mother's womb, I started out as an embryo and, uh, you know, kind of went from there. You know, I ended up here because I wanted to be here. I love the Pacific Northwest. I love the weather up here. I love, uh, you know, the great outdoors, even though I'm a great indoorsman. It's nice to, you know, view from inside. I'm in air conditioning here, nice and protected from the elements, uh, you know, out there. But it's a beautiful view that I got. And how can people find you on the web? Just Google the word Chris. Page one. What is it about social media that attracts you? The babes. Dude, seriously. Have you seen the social media babes? They're very attractive. Except for that one. But we're not going to talk about her. How do you utilize social media? Uh, I tickle it with my pinger. I use ping FM and sneeze updates out to Facebook and friend feed and MySpace and you know Twitter, whatever. I, 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 I just I don't know. I think honestly, honestly, I think social media is using me. And I'll be the first to admit, I, I feel used, quite honestly. I'm, I feel used. And maybe it's just me. Maybe I'm just a little too paranoid, but I just feel like I'm being followed by thousands and thousands of people. Kind of got me freaked out. What is the one thing the mainstream population should know about social media? Well, they should know that it's happening. Whether they're participating or not, it's going on. So people are talking about you <laughs> and your brand and your company and and everything about you, um, whether you knew it or not, and if they're not talking about you, uh, you're not important. <clears throat> if people follow you on Twitter, what can they expect? Uh, they can expect a lot of pithy quotes. Uh, sometimes uh, I can be a little, um, how should I say this, blue. Uh, I, I post links uh, from people who uh, post on geeks.perillo.com, sometimes uh, from the bloggers on lockernome.com, and then sometimes links that you guys uh, submit to me or send to me or things that I run across on the web. 
how would you describe the social media scene in Seattle? Um, well, it kind of depends. Uh, sometimes it's a little stinky. Other times, uh, it's very beery. Uh, and uh, yet other times, it's very stinky and beery. Either way, it's a hot scene. Uh, at any given social media event, there could be hundreds of people that'll show up. Of course, most of them uh, are only there because they're, you know, into uh, getting out of an event what they need to get out of an event without, you know, giving back. Not to say that they're cheapskates by any stretch, but I, I guess a few of them are carpetbaggers. Not gonna, not gonna call out anybody in particular. I'm just saying. Some people are, you know, into the whole business networking thing, and it's it's beyond that. Well, let me put it this way. It's not the reason why I enjoy doing what I do, and I, I've been bleeding, you know, this social media, excreting social media long before it was a term. Uh, do you remember your social media wow moment? What was it? Uh, my social media wow moment? Um... I, I really don't know. I don't know if I've ever had a wow moment. Uh, it just kind of, you know, came up, you know, up uh, upon me before I even knew it, and then I was doing it, right? I was just, ju -ju 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 -ju. that was my, that's a sound effect there. The ju -ju -ju -ju. I don't know what that is doing, really, uh, but it, that's how it happened, and suddenly it just, I didn't have a wow moment. My wow moment just has not happened yet. I'm looking for my wow moment. What is one piece of advice you give to new users of social media? Could be specific or broad. Advice, be yourself and understand that transparency applies to you. I mean, well, you in, in general, you specifically too, but I'm saying it's important. Don't think you're the exception to that rule. And if you don't know what transparency is, uh, Google it. Are you currently working on any projects which involve the use of social media? If so, what are they? Yes, I'm recording a video for YouTube right now. Are there any social media events or conferences in the future you would like to let people know about? Please include dates, locations, etc. Where can more information be found? Uh, well, for the past nine years, I've been doing Gnome decks. Uh, at the time of this recording, it's going to be happening in another week. Next week, wow, wow, next week, Gnome Dex 9, been doing that nine years of my life, nine years, let me tell you, I've got at least nine gray hairs for each one of those years, that would make it, to carry the one, 81 gray hairs that I have, not all of them on my head, most of them on my chest, oh, you don't believe me, look, see him, oh, you can't see him, because they're silver and gray. Talk about transparent. <clears throat> Just for fun. What are your hobbies? What are my... I build Lego. Well, not, you know... I, the sets, the kits. Not I don't actually construct, you know, the Lego pieces. I, I don't, you know, live in Denmark or anything. Favorite vacation spot? Thing to do there. My favorite vacation spot is Costco, actually. They got really good hot dogs. It's nice. Get away for about 15 minutes. Uh, you know, have a hot dog uh, with a large drink, $1.50. Uh, just, you know, don't need to go very far from, from home here. Favorite restaurant in Seattle? Uh, that would be Costco. Uh, they have amazing hot dogs. Of course, their Polish sausages are just as good and uh, just as affordable, really. Uh, you know, the thing I like about it is they have this onion crank and, and you just twist it and turn it and these onions pop out and then you can put the deli mustard on it and it's really, really good, honestly. Uh, favorite things to do in Seattle in the summer? Um, well, usually around lunchtime, uh, if I'm hungry, I like going to Costco because it's kind of like an open air market uh, of sorts. It's not really a market. I mean, they, they sell food and everything, but, uh, you know... Um, They've got really good hot dogs and uh, Polish sausages, really good with the mustard and, and the onions. They've got this little crank that you turn and, 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 and onions fall out. Favorite quote? 
I would have to say the curly one, but the one that opens, not the one that closes. That That's my favorite one, the curly one at the beginning, not the one at the end. Guilty pleasure. Um, well, on a rare occasion, I'll go to Costco, I get a hot dog, and I will actually get it with sauerkraut. And I just, I don't need the extra calories watching my geekish figure, but, uh, you know, I, I, I like, I like sauerkraut. Unlike some people who have traveled to Albuquerque, I like sauerkraut. Uh, favorite actor, actress, well, I don't know if this is one and the same, I don't know if I'm, if I'm supposed to talk about cross-gender people, but, uh, my favorite actor would have to be Harrison Ford. Uh, I have modeled my entire career after uh, him. Uh, in fact, some people have said, you are like the Harrison Ford of geeks. And, you know, I, I, I really appreciate that. I really do. I've worked very, very hard uh, to uh, attain that title. Um, who I, I don't know who says that. Uh, in fact, um, it's probably one of the voices in my head. Who has said that? Uh, this is some a sentence that I'm supposed to finish. I really like it when dot dot dot. Someone goes out and gets a Costco hot dog for me, because then I don't have to go out. I don't need to you know leave the safety of my home environment. And, and you know you guys, you're you're worried about me not getting air, but this is one of the reasons why I keep uh, Mr. Bamboo around. Is give me the green and the oxygen and. Yeah, I mean, I get plenty of, uh, plenty of, uh, nature here, and sometimes I'll throw on a screensaver that has, uh, pictures of nature there. One day, I would love to, what would I like to do one day? Finish this video, honestly. I mean, how long has it been? Guys, is anybody still tuned in? <clears throat> if I could meet anyone alive or dead, I would want to meet someone alive. Holy cow. Can you imagine meeting a dead person? Talk about awkward conversation. You wouldn't go anywhere. Uh, I, I would want to meet someone living. Because dead people kind of creep me out. What would you like everyone to know about you? What do you want to know? What do you want to know about me? I'll answer any question. Anybody got a question for me? I'll answer. I would like them to know that uh, I don't take myself seriously. And uh, that's something that I've been accused of on occasion. Um, I uh, just wanted to say that. Does that make sense? Did, did it make sense at all? Apparently the chat room is getting rowdy, which is prone to happen this late at night. Bonus question, who would you like to see featured on Seattle social media profiles and why? Uh, oh, that came back. Uh, third time's a charm. Uh, who would I like to see featured? I really don't know. Uh, I would like to see, uh, the person I'd like to see featured is the one who has not been featured yet. Because in social media, everybody's important. Uh, you know, just because you are followed by 10 people doesn't make you any less important than someone who's followed by 10,000 or 100,000 people. It's, uh, rather egalitarian. So I'm not going to name any names. I'm not going to point any fingers. I'm just going to say that uh, the person you would least likely expect to be featured is the one that I would recommend to feature, you know, up in an upcoming thing for the profile site. My email address, as I answered earlier, is chris at perillo.com. If you made it this far into the video, good for you. You're a geek just like the rest of us. You're more than welcome to join us at geeks.perillo.com. And uh, you can also join us in the chat room. Sometimes we, we do get out of hand, and admittedly, I, 
I kind of uh, light the fires. Not literally, of course. I wouldn't light fires around computers. I'm not into that, really. I'm not, not so much of a, a pyromaniac ever since the uh, uh, restraining order. <clears throat> we are typically talking tech, though. 24 hours a day, 7 days a week, right here at live.perillo.com. We'll see you later.